me today on Saunders Homespun Life. I'm in the kitchen again today, and I've decided to drag out one of my favorite kitchen gadgets, my Instant Pot. Now, I've had this thing for a while, and I don't know why, but I have failed miserably at getting this out and experimenting with recipes and learning how to use this thing. I mean, it's a great kitchen gadget, so why have it just sitting there collecting dust? So I decided to drag out one of my favorite recipes. It's called French Onion Meatballs. Now originally this was a crock pot recipe, but I thought, why would it not work in the Instant Pot? So that's what we're gonna to try to do today. So stick around and join me today as we try French Onion Meatballs in the Instant okay, Pot. Okay, this is the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need one envelope of this onion soup mix, one can cream of onion soup, one can cream of mushroom soup, you're going to need just a little less than a cup and a half of water. And you're going to need a two pound bag of meatballs. Now this is a big three pound bag, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. So, two pound bag of meatballs. Alright, let's get started. Okay, you all, I have a quick kitchen tip for you before we start this recipe. You're going to need a large mixing bowl to combine all these ingredients. And I have this big, large stainless bowl. You won't need one that big, I'm sure, but... I just really prefer a big bowl like this when I have a lot to mix because it gives you plenty of room to get everything in there mixed and combined really well without working yourself in a little tight space trying to get everything stirred up. So this is what I'm going to use. You, you use whatever bowl you want. Just make sure it's a large one. Okay, we're going to start by combining the cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to add the cream of chicken soup to it as well. And we're going to stir that together along with our package of our onion soup mix. that all up and get it well combined. Okay, now we're going to combine about half of our water. So just eyeball it a little bit. It doesn't have to be just perfect. You combine that, mix that well. That just thins the cream of soups a little bit so that you can coat the meatballs easier. Okay, that's mixed pretty well. Alright, next I'm going to take and put the meatballs in this mixture. Like I said, I'm not going to use this whole bag. I'm just going to eyeball it and leave about a pound worth of meatballs still in the bag. I could probably use the whole bag, but uh, I want to make sure I've got plenty of that soup to go on every meatball. And if I use too many, I'm afraid it'll make it too dry. So... That looks about right. Of course, if you already have a two pound bag, you don't have to guess at it. Just throw them in there and stir and coat every one of those meatballs the best you can. I tell you, I love this big stainless bow. It just makes mixing stuff like this a whole lot easier. It takes a lot of the work out of it. Okay. Now I need to get me a spatula. And next I'm going to put all this mixture into my Instant Pot. And I think I will coat the inside with some nonstick spray. Now 
now I'm just going to dump all this into the pot. all that good stuff out of your bowl right back into your pot. You don't want to lose all that good flavor. A lot like my Aunt Ginger, she would scrape and scrape to get every little bit out of the bow. I guess that's where I get it from. All right. Set this to the side. Let's smooth this out. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in closer now. And now I'm gonna take the water and pour it in around the meatballs. Kind of aiming towards the sides of the pot. Now I'm going to place the lid on the instant pot. And I'll bring you down here where you can see better now. Okay, next we want to make sure that our little knob up here is set to the sealed position, which it is. And for our settings, I'm going to hit manual and I'm gonna take it down to about, I would say about, let's do 12 minutes. 10 would probably be enough, but I'm gonna do 12. And I'm gonna let it come to pressure. It'll start cooking down. And once it kicks off, I'm gonna release the steam and I'll bring you back to see how it looks. Okay, you all, our minutes are up. And as you saw in the video, I turned off or click cancel on our Instant Pot to turn it off and I released the pressure. So all the pressure has been released. So now I'm going to take this lid off and have a look at this and see how it turned out. There we go. And we'll get a spoon. Give this a quick stir. I'm going to bring you all in so you can see this. Oh, it smells wonderful, you all. And it looks like it should. Okay, I'm going to get one of these out in a bowl and try it. Get my camera out of the way. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. I'm starving, you all. The meatballs are cooked through. Mm. That's really good, you all. I'm well pleased with it. And I'd rather cook it in the Instant Pot than let it sit in a crock pot all day. It's quick. You just throw it in there and you're good to go. So that's really good. Um, now I did time this when I was allowing it to come up to pressure and I watched the clock and it took about 10 minutes for this to come up pressure and if you've ever used the Instant Pot 10 minutes isn't very bad at all usually it can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to come up to pressure so 10 minutes is all it took for this to come up to pressure and then another 12 minutes and then it's done so I'm going to cook up some sides to go with this and I'll give you a little view of my plate after I get it all plated up. And here's my plate, you all. Here are the French onion meatballs. I also fixed some mashed potatoes, sprinkled a little pepper on top, and green beans, and I fixed me a little toss Thank salad. you all for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also hit the little notification bell below. That way you can be notified each time one of my videos is available. I thank you all so much for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you guys.